Hello, I'm David Crum, and let's talk about the best places to live around Greenville. This video doesn't focus on Greenville itself, but the cities and towns around it that might be the place for you if you'd like to live in this area, but don't want the expense or maybe the busyness of living near downtown Greenville. If you're looking at the upstate of South Carolina, these places around Greenville are a great choice. You'll find that the statistics for city sizes seem to show small populations, but that's because the city has a smaller footprint than the metro area. It is difficult for cities in South Carolina to annex property into their city, and this drives a smaller city outline in a larger metro area. For example, Greenville has about 70,000 residents in the city, but a metro area of just over half a million. This means that many of the areas you may choose to live will be called Greenville, but will really be a smaller city or town or unincorporated area that's being treated almost like a suburb. Places we'll visit in this video are not in Greenville, but are a part of its economic and political footprint. All are inside Greenville County, with the exception of parts of Greer, which flow over into Spartanburg County to the north. If you're thinking about moving, I would love to help. You can reach me in any of the contacts below but text or phone are definitely the best. Let's start learning about what each of these areas around Greenville have to offer. If you're looking for more detail, you can check out one of my videos specifically on those areas. Here, we'll just do a broad overview. Let's start with the busiest place nearby, Simpsonville. Simpsonville is southeast of Greenville going down I-385 past Malden before you get to Fountain Inn. Last year, there were 2,395 homes sold in the two zip codes associated with the Simpsonville area. This was growth over last year as well, and that can be expected to continue into the future. This year, the average home has sold for just over $380,000. There are many neighborhoods offering everything from townhomes to large homes with sizable lots. Simpsonville continues to have some older homes with larger parcels of land as well. There are 332 homes currently available for sale, ranging from $200,000 all the way to $2.9 million. Simpsonville is a bustling place with lots of access to shopping and entertainment. Some of the highlights include Heritage Park with its CCMB Amphitheater, an outside concert venue, the Warehouse at Vaughn's, which is a community gathering place with a variety of restaurants and a shared space, and Discovery Island Water Park, which is a part of Greenville Rec Department, a big draw for families with younger children. On the northern part of 2968 half of Simpsonville, you'll find Five Forks. While Five Forks is not incorporated, it is a rapidly growing area initially called Five Forks because of the intersection of Woodruff Road passing through Adams Mill, Five Forks, and Scuffletown before a reworking of the roads have changed this. You'll find some older properties there, but mostly newer homes and new subdivisions with HOAs, usually with pools. Our next city is Malden. Located right between Greenville and Simpsonville, it was for a long time the neglected town in the middle. People would skip right past it just to live further down the interstate in Simpsonville. Now, that has been starting to change. Residents and new movers alike are seeing the value in being a little closer to Greenville and filling in the gap that was once there. There are older neighborhoods in Malden which will offer larger lots and more mature trees. Malden is considerably smaller geographically than Simpsonville's footprint, but it has a vibrant, growing, small-town vibe. There are often events at the Malden Cultural Center, such as Friday night concerts all summer long. Moving to the north, let's talk about Greer next. The furthest of what I would consider the suburbs of Greenville, off Highway 29 or Wade Hampton Road, Greer has a more country feel to it. There is a walkable downtown with some great shops, Greer City Park, the South Carolina Inland Port, and BMW's largest manufacturing facility providing jobs for more than 12,000 people. Greer is a little more spread out and its boundaries are a bit broken as they skip outward from the town, downtown of Greer. The city of Greer has 266 active listings ranging from 110,000 to over $4 million. This big spread shows the range of what's available in Greer. Coming down Wade Hampton towards Greenville is Taylor, South Carolina. Living in Greenville, you'll hear people refer to Taylor's just like as a city or a town, but it's truly a census designated place, a true suburb of Greenville. With over 23,000 residents and 78 active listings, Taylor's is big enough to deserve its place on this list for sure. Available homes in Taylor's right now range from 130,000 to 1.7 million. Just like Greer, parts of Taylor's are more country than city with some larger properties available. Pebble Creek Golf Courses in Taylor's, the model train station linked below, and it borders on the pavilion, a major complex for Greenville County Rec. 
The train station is located at the Taylor's Mill, a very popular mixed-use revitalization of an old mill into a mix of commercial space offering food, drinks, and space for local artists and more. Heading almost due north of Greenville, just past Furman University, we'll find Traveler's Rest. Just a few years ago, Traveler's Rest, or as I grew up calling it, TR, was a small farming town just past where Highway 276 and Highway 25 cross. With a population just over 5,000, it is still not a big city. It does, however, have a vibrant artist community in a small walkable downtown with many trendy shops and restaurants. If you're visiting the area and want to be at the base of the mountains with easy access to hiking, rafting, and more, then Traveler's Rest is the right spot for you. In just about 20 minutes from downtown, you'll still be able to make a quick trip for a show or shopping in Greenville. To the west of Greenville lie several unincorporated areas, Berea, San Susi, and Parker, and a couple of others. These areas are less developed than the other places that we've talked about so far and don't quite have the reputation either. However, if you're looking to move to the Greenville area and want to find a home that's less expensive, they may be a perfect fit for you. None of these areas have their own de city designation in the Greater Greenville MLS, so I can't give you exact information on their sales. However, drawing a rough shape around the area has showed me 40 active listings ranging in price from $120,000 to $895,000. Generally, the new construction here will feature homes or townhomes that are a little smaller than what's being built in Simpsonville, for example. Below San Susi, Berea, and Parker lie the last little trio of unincorporated areas. This area has a smaller population, usually smaller homes and lots as well. It is bordered on the city by the two largest medical campuses of Greenville, St. Francis and Prisma's main hospitals. A developing highlight is the Judson Mills District, originally a mill built in 1912. It is now leasing fully remodeled residential apartments and commercial space as well. A rough circle around this area shows 14 active properties for sale, ranging from 85 to 384,000. This leads us back around to the Malden Simpsonville areas, completing our circle around the city of Greenville. There are a few other areas which may deserve your consideration, but we can look at them another time. They extend further away and would be outside of what I consider easy driving time about 20 to 30 minutes for this area. Most people here don't have long commutes like some other areas of the country. When you're looking at what area around Greenville you wanna live in, it's very important to weigh the factors of what you desire for your next home. Are you looking for a neighborhood with a pool and lots of amenities? Do you favor close entertainment and shopping? Or would you rather not even see your neighbors from your front porch? Geography can change in the area with Traveler's Rest seeing more of the foothills and a mountain vibe going to down to Simpsonville, which is very flat by comparison. If you're considering making a move, I would love to help you find out what's perfect for you. Check out my next video and I'll see you next time.